everyone, Jim from Javelin here with another SolidWorks tech tip. I have here a welded uh, frame and what I want to do is I want to isolate these bodies for detailing. There's a couple of ways to do it. One of the ways that I discussed earlier is if you right click on uh, one, of these, one of these bodies, you can right click on it and you can say insert into new part. You can even copy some cutlass properties if you like. I'm going to insert that. Cancel. I'm not going to save it. And you can see it inserts it as a uh, as a derived body, if you will. I can go in here. I can edit it in context, or I can switch back to the model itself. You'll notice though that with this method, I don't get any kind of a feature in this feature tree on the part telling me that uh, telling me that this has been this has been uh, sort of saved out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a different method. To do this, I'm going to right click on the cut list and I'm going to say save bodies. In this case, I'll go through. I'm not going to tick the other two because in this particular example, these are identical to the opposite side. I'm going to go down, make sure all my all my settings are correct go back up, click OK, and this will go through and it'll create uh, it'll create those those separate parts for me. So we'll just give it a minute. And I'll jog over. You can see it gives me the exact same exact same thing here. But if I go back to the go back to the original part, you'll notice I have this save bodies like or uh, feature here. That's indicating that uh, that's indicating that this has been saved out. The advantage of this is that now if I perform a pack and go on this particular part, I will get those individual bodies, whereas using the other method, I will not.